greetings, greetings, Cardinal Sin Nation. It is I, Cardinal Sin. And today we have a little special uh, about British horror movies. It's a brief history of British horror movies. And I think we're going to get right into it. I've got my little Baphomet statue here, so we're ready to go right above uh, his uh, his little whatever that is. There's Doomcock right there. So you better be careful. And, of course, uh, Vamprella right there. All right, so let's talk British horror movies. Now, of course, everyone is familiar with Hammer Horror. And Hammer made some great horror movies. There's no doubt about it. But that's kind of where most people's idea about Hammer Horror or British horror movies in general uh, ends. A lot of people don't know that uh, there's all kinds of other uh, labels that uh, have made very good horror movies in the past. And uh, another one that we have, it's not horror, but it is an example of Hammer, One Million Years B.C., Boy, that's a uh, that make a great poster, huh? Okay, so let's get into some stuff that's not Hammer. It's still British, but it's not Hammer. And we'll just go ahead and do that. All right, so this is a really cool movie. Uh kind of kind of a freaky movie when it came out but by now it's not you know terribly frightening it's fiend without a face and there's your back and this is just a wonderful movie this is from the criterion collection and uh, just wanted to see if there's anything else in here I wanted to share. There's the booklet. So you get the whole, the whole deal uh, about fiend without a face, bloody microphone. And hello to the mighty Herc 130. I'm doing this show just for you. Well, so far, just for you. But thanks for being here. I hope you enjoy the subject matter. Another one that a lot of people don't know about is The Ghoul with Boris Karloff. And uh, this goes back to the sort of Egyptologist, Egyptian tomb, blah, blah, blah. Uh, the first British film ever to be labeled horrific, as well as being the first British horror talkie. The ghoul was thought lost for many years until a subtitled print was found in Prague. Many years later, a copy of the uncut British print was found, and it is this version which has undergone digital restoration, etc., etc., etc. It's got Boris Karloff, Cedric Hardwick, and Ralph Richardson. So, don't want to miss the ghoul. Now, 
I'm being a little inclusive here, not just of British horror movies, but also of TV. Uh, there's a lot of great stuff that uh, has been done uh, on television in British horror. This one is called Haunted. And it features Jeremy Brett. There's the cover there. And this one is a winner for sure. Uh, I just wanted to see if there was anything else. Not really for that one. Ah. Well, let's do this then. There. Uh, a movie that I really like, a Richard Burton movie. It's a British horror movie called Absolution. And this was a lot better than I expected it to be. Um, it's It's got a really strong cast. Uh, it doesn't go where you think it's going to go. It's just really good. And so I would recommend that as well. And then this is a Timothy Dalton movie called Possessed. And it's got Christopher Plummer in it. And it says it's the true story of the exorcist. And I found it quite interesting. All right. So let's look at some other films that maybe you didn't know about. For instance, uh, Donald Pleasance and Christopher Lee, among many others, are in Deathline. Mind the doors. And uh, this is, of course, a wonderful uh, ITV movie that was restored by Network, which I think has restored all of these that I've brought up. And if you like Richard Burton, and I know you do, you've got to see the Medusa Touch. Really good. I mean, I think this is probably during the time when, uh, oh, Lee Remick is in it, and Jeremy Brett, and Derek Jacoby. Wow. How did I miss all that? I'm going to have to watch this one again. Uh, another one that ITV made and that Network uh remastered it is just a wonderful film uh especially if you ever went to catholic school this one's this one's up your alley now this is mm, kind of different oh it has this one too yeah So, The Dark Eyes of London with Bela Lugosi. And, oh, who all is in this? Anyway, it's adapted from the book by the great Um, Edgar Wallace and actually a lot of these were written by Edgar Wallace but the cool thing about this is that it comes with uh, 
postcards. So you can see, for instance, this one. The Dark Eyes of London. And... Oh, the Verger. I don't know what that means, but I can pronounce it. The Verger. And then, of course, you've got uh, a photo on the back. Uh, sensational, chilling, thrilling. Bella Lugosi, The Dark Eyes of London. Yeah. And there's uh, Wilfred Walter, who's in that film. And Paralyzing Fear, King of All Brutes, The Human Monster. That was the original name. When it came out, it was The Human Monster. And then when they uh, put it back out, uh, they renamed it. And I think they did a good job. This guy's really good in the movie. Uh, so this is kind of another color. Uh, I don't know what you call it. Poster, postcard. And Greta Gint is on the back. And then uh, Le Tour Avangil. I have no idea what that means. Uh, I took enough French to pronounce it, and that's it. And this is Hugh Williams, who was in the film. And, like, I, I got to say, you know, uh, Network and the British Film uh, Corporation they really go all out on some of this stuff. I mean, even in the background, you can see that there's all different kinds of posters and uh, cool stuff. But that's not all. Let's see here. Fair enough. All right. So this is a fun one. Vincent Price, Donald Pleasance, and John Carradine in the Monster Club. And it says, features separate music track including songs by The Pretty Things, B.A. Robertson, and UB40. And... I'm not terribly fond of UB40. But, uh, hey, that doesn't matter. You might like UB40, for all I know. Uh, Vincent Price, Donald Pleasance, John Carradine, Britt Eklund, uh, and Patrick Muggy, not to be confused with Patrick McNee. Now... This one's not technically a horror movie, although it does have some some horror elements to it. Uh, this is a movie that I don't know how other people haven't seen it. Uh, boy, it's just an action-packed cast. The Devil Girl from Mars. This is a great movie. A uh, saucer comes down in Scotland, and then, well, I guess I'll go ahead and spoil it for you. 
Um, there are two different covers here, which is cool. And uh, the reason that she's here apparently is the opposite of Mars needs women. Apparently, Mars needs men. So she's got her her uh, menacing robot. I don't remember if it has a name or not. But okay, now we're going to get into some of the uh, weird stuff. Uh, conceived by the devil. Only she knows what her baby really is. Uh, Joan Collins, Donald Pleasance, originally titled I Don't Want to Be Born. This one is simply called The Monster. And we'll take a look inside. bloody microphone so again here's the inside which has all the different little cool here let me do this it wants to come out anyway it's got all different kinds of posters uh and you know some viewing notes um There's that. And uh, I truly enjoyed this movie. And, you know, there's a ton of examples of British horror that I just didn't want to get into because it was going to be a long uh, little stream anyway. So I figured, what the heck, let's... Uh, Let's put some stuff out there for people that they maybe haven't seen like that. The monster. Hey, Tessa D777 is here. Yeah, gotta love those old... Actually, uh, Herc130, you missed the first bloody microphone of the show. Sorry. All right. And uh, we have one here. It's another Edgar Wallace movie. It has Herbert Lom, Greta Gint, again, William Hartnell, Denhelm Elliott, and it's based upon the story by Edgar Wallace. There is the front. This one is called The Ringer. And I think it's really cool that they're, you know, finding these older, uh, maybe less popular, maybe somewhat forgotten British horror movies and remastering them and putting them out. And all of these movies uh, that you uh, that you see here today have been remastered, and they're in 5.1 surround and all that kind of good stuff. Sorry, man. And uh, then the last one that I have to show you is another Edgar Wallace movie called Circus of Fear. Yeah, I'll tell you what, uh, James Dugan, I almost brought up uh, Quatermass and the new one with, uh, well, it's not brand new, but it's the reason that David Tennant got Doctor Who because he, uh, it's, it's live like the original one was and he's running around and being all crazy, you know, David Tennant, Doctor Who. But yes, I, I agree. It's just, it, it's technically science fiction. And, and I, I didn't want to mix those up because I'll probably do another one. 
of those. So after a daring crime, they took refuge in the circus of fear. Oh my goodness, look at all the different stuff. They even mentioned Quatermass and the pit right there. Psycho Circus. And then you put the, uh, the disc in there. And you're all done. And we're all done because that's all I have to share with you right now. Uh, while we're here, I probably should have started with that. That's what the show is called, Brief History of Horror Movies. Uh, do please subscribe if you haven't. It makes a big difference. Hit the bell, notifications, all that stuff. It really is important. And don't forget, you can get all your Cardinal Sin merch needs at gillstore.org, not .com. So uh, thanks for joining me for this brief history of British horror movies. And uh, I don't know, leave a, a comment. Tell me if you liked the idea or if you hated the idea, what you think of some of these movies, uh, which ones you'd add to the list. Uh, and um, that'll That'll make the YouTube algorithm happy because, oh, it loves the engagement, you know. So, uh, just to go tempting fate here. Uh, we started with Countess Dracula, which is a Hammer Horror movie. Uh, Hammer House of Horror which is a TV series, which is kind of cool. And, of course, it's not a horror movie, but it's a Hammer film, so uh, I'm not sure what you'd call it. Uh, Fiend Without a Face. Woohoo! The Ghoul with Boris Karloff. The first talky horror movie uh, uh, from England, from Britain, the UK, Great Britain. Hell, I don't know what to call it anymore. Haunted with Jeremy Brett. A uh, young Jeremy Brett. And we also talked about Absolution, which is a great Richard Burton movie. I mean, he really... He really owns this movie. His uh, performance is just great. Uh, Possessed, the real story of The Exorcist with Timothy Dalton. Deathline. And... Uh, Donald Pleasance, uh, Christopher Lee, others, etc. Another Richard Burton movie that is awesome, The Medusa Touch. This is a great movie. Boris was the greatest of all time. You know, it's funny. Actually, Herc 130, you probably know this, but um, the reason that Bela Lugosi, uh, well, I, w I was going to say the reason that he got Dracula, but um, they offered Bela Lugosi Frankenstein, and he turned it down because it wasn't a speaking role. Can you imagine if he had been both, you know, Boris Karloff and, uh, God, he would have been able to 
get hooked on all kinds of weird drugs. The Dark Eyes of London with Bella Lugosi. And Devil Girl from Mars. Uh, this has got great rewatchability. This is a good enough movie that you can watch it just from beginning to end, or you can have it on in the background, whatever. It's really good. Uh, uh, Flying Saucer lands in the highlands of uh scotland and wacky hijinks ensue bloody microphone uh the monster club worth a watch and if you use your phone make sure to avoid the ringer The Monster with Joan Collins and Donald Pleasance, among others. Nah. Originally titled, I Don't Want to Be Born. And, of course, Edgar Wallace's The Circus of Fear. So those are some... Uh, some British horror movies that I would recommend. Uh, you can go to uh, Network's website and probably buy a lot of them there. Uh, some of them are um, Tino Lorber. Uh, the Fiend Without a Face is from the Criterion Collection. Uh, but, I mean, this is just all great movies. Uh, and then, of course, for their TV show, uh, The Hammer House of Horror, it's the complete series, uh, Witching Time, The 13th Reunion, Rude Awakening, Growing Pains, The House That Bled to Death, gotta see that, uh, Charlie Boy, The Silent Screen, Children of the Full Moon, Get out of there. Bloody microphone. Uh, the Carpathian Eagle. Guardian of the Abyss. Visitor from the Grave. The Two Faces of Evil, which is actually the name of another movie. Although it's... It's uh, actually... It might be British. No, I think it's an American movie. The Mark of Satan. He doesn't mark things uh, unless they need marking. Um, special thanks. Remastering notes. Uh, it was originally shot on 35 millimeter film, which makes it easy to restore and do a good job of it. So, and yeah, Raquel Welch. Um, you know, there are two things, Tessa, that I might mention uh, about that. Um, the first being, I kind of prefer Frank Langella's uh, Dracula. Although, I mean, you're right. Bela Lugosi is the best Dracula. But I think another good uh, runner-up uh, is the Spanish language version of the Universal movie Dracula. The uh, English-speaking crew and cast would basically shoot 12 hours a day and then as they were leaving, they would pass the Spanish-speaking director and cast. And a lot of people say that the Spanish language uh, Dracula is better than the English one. And maybe it's just because I've only seen it once or twice and I've seen the Bela Lugosi one a million times. 
But uh, if you haven't seen it, you definitely should. It's a really good film. So that gets us set up for uh, a brief history of British horror movies. Hope you liked the show. Please let me know if you did in the comments. And that's it for today. So it's Cardinal Sin. Out.